As the number of COVID cases increases, more people in our state are seeking treatment for the virus. CBS 17 digital reporter Judith Reitana is digging deeper into what treatments are available and how you can get them before it is too late. And this is really becoming a thing. Right, and check out this photo. This is taken at a treatment center in Florida. You can see people here, this woman, this other woman over here, lying on the ground, moaning in pain, waiting for their turn to get monoclonal antibody treatments. Doctors I spoke with say to avoid this in North Carolina. They say it's possible, but they are seeing more people coming in for treatments. If you're hearing our voices right now, know that there is treatment for COVID-19. And last week, the state administered more than 1,800 courses of that treatment. The infusion therapy takes 30 to 60 minutes and uses monoclonal antibodies. We've designed antibodies that we can infuse into someone's blood and instantaneously there are now antibodies. While North Carolina infusion centers don't look like this center in Florida, it's a warning to the unvaccinated. There's only so many people who could work in healthcare, and now we want them to do monoclonal antibody infusions. So it's really hard. I do worry that we have a bigger demand then we have capacity. Scary to look at. I think that's what we're trying to avoid. You know, I think of point number one, get vaccinated. These antibodies that we're talking about, the, the other way to get your to get antibodies into your system is to get vaccinated. Dr. Holland is speaking with me from the Duke COVID unit. He knows this infusion therapy isn't ideal. Unfortunately, although a lot of things have been tried, we don't we don't yet have a medication approved for uh, for treatment of early COVID. That that's a pill. Patients need to get infusions at specific treatment centers. Some are referral only, and COVID positive patients need to get there fast. The day or two after you're diagnosed. You got to make a call, especially if you've had symptoms for less than five days. That's wh that's who we want to see. All this trouble is largely avoided through vaccination. We have people who do not want to get vaccinated because the vaccines are not FDA approved, but they're willing to take a monoclonal antibody once they're sick, even though that also is not approved. Dr. Wool says in the future we could be living with this virus like we do the flu. We could live with COVID-19, but we need people to get vaccinated and we need good treatments. Both of those things together. Now, this is a map, excuse me, this is a map over here that the uh, State Human Health Services Department has up. You can see here that it's going to be showing a map of all the centers around North Carolina and across the country where we have these infusion centers. You can find one near you by going to my story online at CBS17.com. We have a link to show this interactive map, and we also have a listing of places here locally that you can get that as well. Judith Ratana, CBS 17 News. All right, Judith, good stuff. It is Friday night, and we are continuing.